Top 10 Island Seeds. I'm Ixical. Let's dive in. So what is a seed? A seed is a bunch of numbers and letters that you can type in. This will generate the same world every single time. So how do we make one? Create new world and then press world. Type in or copy and paste the seed numbers that you found. Set your rules and boom, you're done. This is my personal top 10. There's many, many different seeds out there, including cocoa beans and potato. Potato seeds? Yes. Number 10. This is the Pillager Outpost Island, and woof, this is a treat. It's fairly small with a bunch of trees, that's great, but what is this over here? A Pillager Outpost? I don't like this. It's scary and dangerous. Look, he's chasing me. It adds a level of excitement that I'm not sure I can handle in my current state of weakness. If I was to play this seriously, I'd either set up camp on the other island over there, or way back so I don't get done in by those guys. Ooh, look, there's some prisons down there. Maybe I can bust some of these creatures out and use them in my own base. Plenty of opportunity here for scavenging later on when you get a bit stronger. Number nine. This is known as a classic modern seed. I'm surprised this has got as high as number nine. It's not great, there's one tree. I need wood for sticks and doors and window frames and cool stuff. There's no trees in the nearby area either. I've checked with the telescope, look, there's nothing. It's got potential for a nice fairy tale castle in creative mode, that's cool, that is nice. But for a survival player, this is a nightmare on legs, with no legs. It's really challenging, I would struggle to not want to leave the island to find some kind of tree. How can I even grow apples? I've got to bash the tree in a little bit, the sacred tree. I don't want to damage him, he is the only friend, I'm sorry. Other than that and the two cows that inhabit this island, I would struggle playing this in survival mode. You might get lucky and find a shipwreck nearby that does supply some of that vital wood. This one is not for me. Number eight. This is called Snowcapped Mountain, and I'm not exactly sure this is an island. It's massive. I've just spawned in. Look at this water feature. It's chasing me. There's a nice opportunity for a side house, and I'm sure you can have something in the valley down here. It has a few biomes built in, including the ice spikes, which I'm happy to see. A standard forest down there, which is delightful. The sheer scale and magnitude of this place does work both ways. It's quite interesting. There's lots to find, but I think it loses that edge of being called an island. This is a true island. I'm quite islandist. And this is an island. This is not. This is more like a small country. It will take you an hour to boat around. But it does look beautiful. It's quite a nice biome. I'm happy to have seen this one, but I don't want to give it a higher spot in the list. Number seven, Jungle Cliffs. Oh, whoops, I started on the top of a tree here. This is a good biome, I like it. It's islandy, it's not too big, it's got a bit of exploration going on. There's some danger caves, we like danger. But we also like vastness of peace, especially in the beginning of a survival mode experience. Ah, it's got some watermelons, my favorite. Some gravelly bits interspersed with, whoops, interspersed with jungle trees. I like this biome seed, it's quite tasty. A lot of potential here to make a jungle stronghold. This is amazing, you could be a pirate here, that's what we want. The hollowed out gravel bit is quite good. Look at the things you could do here. You could have a dome structure. Yeah, that's what we need. Hi, look at my eyes. They're blue. And talking about blue, the blues. That's the type of money that pirates use on jungle islands like this. Uh, uh, uh. Number six, the dark forest. I love this biome. I always thought it was fantastic. The chunky trees and the weird mushrooms that grow with them. It's lovely. You know what? Let's make mushroom soup. Hmm. Oh wait, you can't pick the mushrooms from the tree, that's a mushroom, but this is a tree mushroom, mushroom tree. I'm mad disappointed with that. How do we make mushroom soup? We need red mushrooms and brown mushrooms and a bowl. Luckily there's wood here. Mushrooms got find in a cave later, I'm too scared. But that's worth doing. Hmm, that was lovely and this island has got tons of potential. I can see a really big castle at the top. Majestic and decent. I like the exploration as well with the secret caves sort of halfway down. This is a good one. But it's not number one. That's reserved for a super secret that you can probably find, but it's secret. Let me know what you think is the best island seed in the comments. I'm going to try it out. Number five. This is a Mesa Cliffs. A Mesa Cliffs? Either way, it's really cool. I like this. Look at the patterns on the rocks. Got some really nice potential for side houses. Oh, there's a shipwreck. Look at this. That's a really good thing for survival mode. It just adds to the adventure. It gives that level of excitement. I think the color of the leaves on the wood is a bit sad, but it's still oak. It's great. Yeah, what a lovely biome this is. It's not too big, but it's big. And it's not too small, but it's small. 
It's not small enough to be an island island, but it's cool. It's just the right side. You know what? That second island over there, you could have that as an offshoot to your main base. It's delicious. Oh, I'm happy I found this one. I would have a side observatory coming out with some glass panels. This is wonderful. Number four. This is the mangrove swamp island. Straight away, you can see he's got a village sort of built in with it. And that's good. That's got some benefits. Takes away the exploration just a little bit, but look how dense and thick this forest is. This is lovely. I could imagine a big pyramid type building coming off this. This is one of the best seeds of the game. I know a lot of you don't like the village in the beginning, and I can agree with that. I like to find the village. It would be wonderful to get on the boat, row out to find a village somewhere else. That would be amazing. But you know, oh well, here it is. You could destroy them. But for what it's worth, it's got some benefits having a village in survival mode, so that's cool. I quite like the mangrove roots, and the trees look good. This pink colour for the planks is quite good. Having a little mangrove house with all these pink bits, that's nice, isn't it? Number three, jungle temple. I can't believe I've put a jungle one in the top three. I like this. It's not too big to be silly. It's got an exploration kind of weird thing in the middle with the temple. There's a parrot, a parrot cup jack, and it's just the right size. I like that sheer cliff again. I can have some observatories and look down here. That's a pre-made garden. I can have a nice garden here. The expanse of water around this just makes it that full island feeling. It's like a pirate base again. It's really cool with the jungle theme. In survival mode, there's no trouble. Coal is just there, look, right in the gravel. Perfect. You could have a nice tree house as well. That is absolutely perfect. A tree house overlook island stronghold. There it is. In survival mode, I'd want to set up with a little base over there, build it up, maybe start in the temple, just go straight at it. Here I am, this is my house. What a fantastic island biome. What can possibly be this? Uh, number two. This is a tiger island. Hmm, I always thought it was Taiga, but it's tiger. And this is quite nice. There's lots of trees, like a mini forest. It's got a turtle beach over here. Look at my little friend, he's lovely. Then it's got a lovely gravelly area over here. I like this one, it's got a lot of potential. Now I know what you're saying, it's a little bit small. There's no features. You can't see any mountains or lakes. Well, I'm sorry, we're surrounded by a lake called the ocean. You can't drink it because you'll get thirsty, so we have to find a natural water source if that was an issue. But it's not. The only issue is how massive I could make my castle here. It's got a lot of fantastic opportunity here to build up something special. I don't feel scared particularly. The openness and kind of close proximity of the trees, for some reason, it makes me feel at peace. This is a peaceful island build. That's why it's number two. I wouldn't be surprised if you dig down, you'll find an amethyst core. Oh, that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? What an adventure this island would be. As soon as you get the boat going, I'm sure you can find another island nearby or a mass of land. Start exploring and finding stuff. Look, there's even a shipwreck so close. That is impressive. You know, this is a good one. Number one, Cherry Blossom Island. I love the Cherry Blossom and to have this on a peaceful island is fantastic. I would prefer a lack of volcano and snow mountain, but other than that, it's quite good really. It's a little bit too bumpy, but I'm not gonna pick fault. This has got the things I want, those cherry trees. I'm so tempted to build an Asian style village on this, it's unbelievable. Bees, cows, sheep, monsters, darkness, ocean, snow, ice, normal forest. Lava is big enough to have several builds going on at the same time. This is a wonderful thing. So let's recap. Number 10 is the Pillager Outpost Island. Quite an interesting place to build on, but in survival, it would be very dangerous. Number nine is the classic modern. It's treeless. Decent for creative, but not very good for survival. You will die. Number eight is the snow-capped mountain. I quite like that, but it's too big. Seven, jungle cliffs. Decent again, a little bit too big for my fancy, but it's there. Number six is the dark forest. I quite like the island. It's got some levels to it. It's a delight. Number five is the mesa cliffs. That was a good one. The colours in that are beautiful. Four, mangrove swamp with village. Yeah, I quite like that island. The village, I don't know. Number three was the jungle temple. That's a pirate paradise. Two was the tiger forest. I like that one. That's the most peaceful out of all of them. And number one is the Cherry Grove Island. It has everything on it. What can I say? I've linked all of the seeds in the description. And that about wraps up my top 10. What are your top favorites? Have you tried making an island seed yourself? Let me know in the comments. I'd be very interested to know. I am going to adventure now and try and do something decent with my life. I've always wanted to build a treehouse. Let's see if I can put a platform on the top of this and build a little house. 
Gotta kill some of that nature before I can do it though, that's always a shame. It's been a wonderful experience having a look at all of these 10 island seeds. I hope you've enjoyed the video, talk to you next time.